This is Rob Tebber for Boxing Social. Delighted to be joined here today at McGuigan's Gym by unbeaten bantamweight star of the future, Lee McGregor, ahead of his Commonwealth title bout against Thomas Asomba. How are you, Lee? Yeah, I'm good, mate. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Very well. You asked me how I am, unlike Chris Billum Smith, so um, we're already off to a good start here. So, you challenged for the Commonwealth title this Saturday against uh, Thomas Asomba at York Hall. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, no, I'm really looking forward to the fight. I think everything's re really going well this camp. I can't fault anything. Nothing's really, really went wrong. Everything's went to plan and it's all done now. All the hard work's done. I just, I just want to get in, in the ring on Saturday and fight now. Tell us a little bit about Thomas Asomba as an opponent. I was talking to Shane about it. Um, he's somebody who's boxed at a good level, albeit at a lighter weight class. Yeah. Is that something that you're sort of, you're not banking on, but something that you're kind of aware of as you go into the fight on Saturday? Yeah, I, I, I think, yeah, I know what you're saying. He's been at a, a good high level. As, as we say, Commonwealth champion at, at flyweight. So, but, but I think he's he's still strong and dangerous at bantamweight. I think he's he's done the right thing moving up to bantamweight. He certainly looks a lot bigger now. Now that it looks like he's fouled out and real chunky. Yeah, he's short, but he looks he looks right strong, physically strong. I think he's he's 30 year old. You know, he's he's got his man strength. I'm I'm young. I'm 21 year old. I'm still de developing. So, I think it's going to be a hard fight and. Uh, He's certainly dangerous, so I need to be switched on and use my head to uh, the, the whole fight. That's something that we've spoken about in the past. This is your fifth fight as a professional, and you're already challenging for a Commonwealth title. Uh, what does that mean to you? How does that focus you when you build up to a fight, knowing that, you're first of all, you're going to be doing a 12-rounder for the first time? Well, yeah, yeah. you say doing a 12-rounder for the first time, but when I'm in here in the gym preparing, prepared, sparring 10, 12 rounds, two different fresh opponents and stuff, I'm, I'm flying. My team see that. You know, that's why I believe that they put me forward for this fight, because they've seen what I can do in the gym. They've got belief in me. I've got belief in myself, like loads of belief in myself. So there's nothing nothing stopping us to take this risk, and and I'm I'm really looking forward to proving that the, the risk that like the risk's going to pay off. The last few weeks have seen uh, the British bantamweight title claimed by Cash Farouk. That's got to be something that you surely have your eye on. Obviously, not taking anything away from this weekend, still got a job to do. But about with Cash Farouk in Scotland, in Edinburgh, that's got to be something that's very attractive for you. A nice, a nice carrot to dangle, as it were. Yeah, it's, it's been hard since since he's won that fight. He like he's, I mean, as in like it's been hard to to speak about it since he's won that fight because everyone's speaking about it. And I'm trying to focus on this fight ahead, ahead of me on Saturday night because I know it's a tough test. And believe me, it's a tougher test than the test he had for when he won the British title against Jamie Wilson. I've got a real hard fight on my hands on Saturday night. I believe one of the best bantamweights out of them all, like the, the hardest fight out of them all. But obviously, you're, 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 one of, you're one of level fighters. But I believe Samba and Farouk are the, are the top bantamweights in Britain. So... Yeah, it's been hard to kind of talk about that fight, but at the same time, it's given me that hunger and desire and training, and, and also it's going to give me that hunger and desire in this fight to get through this fight and win this fight. Because as you say, it's potentially like a huge fight in Scotland. You're talking Commonwealth titles, if, if, if all goes well, which I firmly believe it will. His British title, I've got the IBF youth title. I'm more than happy to put that on the line. He's young enough for it as well could be another title in the mix by then. If you're talking three, four belts, headlining in Scotland, two young Scottish fighters, both unbeaten, it's, it's, it's really exciting and it's encouraging. Uh, but as I say, I'm focused on this fight. I really want to win it. And that is 100% the fight I want next if all goes well on Saturday. Now, everybody I speak to about you, whether it's in this gym or people who just have experience with you away from this gym, talk about sort of your size at the weight and how they see you being very, very successful going through the weights. Now, how easy do you make bantamweight? Uh, just before we start this interview, we were sitting here talking about pizzas and Chinese and stuff like that. Um, is it a struggle for you to make bantamweight? Is moving up something that's kind of on your mind? N not right at the moment. You know, I, I make it comfortable enough. Of course, making weight's hard. I always, I believe you're, at, you're, you're fighting it the wrong way if, if you don't struggle to make your weight. As, as well with, with being the lighter weights, there's, there's that so little between them. Like you know what I mean. The next, the weight above super bantamweight, it's only an extra two kilos, like four pounds. You know, three, four pounds. That's just, you know, something that I put in myself. I, I believe that it's like sort of like 
if if you want it if you want it that bad, then you'll discipline yourself and you'll sacrifice yourself to do what I'm doing now. I'm uh, yeah, it's hard. It's the day before the weigh-in. I, f- I feel a bit shitty, but you know, it's 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 all part and parcel of the game. I'm gonna be tomorrow. I'm gonna weigh in. I'm gonna fuel up, and I'm gonna on Saturday night. I'm gonna feel feel big, strong, and I'm gonna become Commonwealth champion. And it's gonna be, and I believe I'm gonna do it comfortably because. I'm strong and I'm effective at that weight and there's no signs of, of struggling as yet. You know, I've got the best team around me. If they see me struggling, they see me that it's too much for me, they're, they're going to they're gonna move me up and there's there's no problem about moving up. I'm just going to get better and bigger and stronger and go right through the weight. So it's, let's just focus on bantamweight. I want to win as much as I can at bantamweight. And then, but yeah, for sure, we're going to move up. We're going to go through the weights eventually. And, and that's encouraging. That's what, why I think Barry was so keen and eager to sign me when he seen me, because he likes my frame, he likes my shape, and my style of fighting as well. A lot of people say that, ah, oh, yeah, you punch hard and stuff, but I think it's a mix of everything. I think it's because, yeah, I've got a punch hard. I'm physically strong as well, and the pace that I set in there is high. So when I'm leaning, I don't think I'm going to meet a bantamweight who's taller in height than me, and I'm, I can use my strength well. So. It really does benefit me on fight night, and I and I, I make these sacrifices, and I discipline myself enough. So, I think it's it's, it's quite rightly like earned when I, when I get these wins. Now, I wouldn't be able to end this interview without asking you about the bantamweight world boxing super series being in your weight class. Um, Noe Noe spectacular 70 second performance against uh, Juan Carlos Payano last weekend. Did you catch the fight? Yeah, well, I never like seen the fight live or stuff. I watched it back. I no much to see as it apart from that shot. But he just looks frightening. And I say that to the guys. Like we seen it on the phone, and I said, "How, as a man like that small, it's not as if he's got like big arms and these big built, knocking someone out cold like that." And it just shows you. That it's just all about the timing and and turning the shot and that. And he's just he's, he's a fucking real dangerous fighter. So, um, but. Um, yeah, I watched it, and it's, it's these are these are like that's exciting for me because a few years down the line, I want to be in this tournament. You know, I want to be in these tournaments. I want to be fighting for all the belts, and I believe I will be. So, I just need to keep my feet on the ground, and it's it's brilliant what the Super Series are doing for boxing. It's like sort of like as you say, the Champions League, but like the football, the boxing version. So it's it's good, and and I'm excited to be involved in all this because I firmly believe I will be. Can you see anybody? Other than Noah Anuwe winning the World Boxing Super Series at Bantam? Nah, nah, he's going to win it. He'll, I think he'll win, win, win it comfortably. I think it'll be nice to see him against Barnett or, or maybe Teddy, you know, like, it's, I think they will test him, but I can't see anyone beating him for the trophy. Potential future opponent? <laughs> I don't know, I don't See, the thing is, you know, people might think I'm crazy and stuff. My mentality, my attitude, I will fight anyone. You know, as long as I'm prepared, my team believe in me. There's no point asking me that. If my team says to me, that's who you're fighting, <laughs> believe it or not, and it's crazy as it sounds, you know, my attitude, I'll oh, fight anyone. Seriously, I really will, and I'm not one of them that say it, and then when it comes to it, it doesn't happen. I promise you now, I will fight anyone. Just as long as, obviously, I'm not stupid, you know. I use my head and use my brain and, and know when the time's right. But, like, as I say, like, these step-ups, this is big step-ups already for me. So who knows what's going to happen down the line, but never never ask me um, if, if, I want, if, if I would fight anyone because the answer is always going to be yes. Thankfully, I've got a good team around me to keep me right, keep me grounded, and, and, and yeah, talk sense to me. So, But, yeah, my mentality is I'll fight anyone. So we've got the, the title ready for YouTube. Lee McGregor calls out Noe Inoue. So good luck with that. Um, as always, it's a pleasure sitting down with you. You're due to become a father soon. Um, so congratulations on that. Uh, get as much sleep in now as you can possibly manage. Um, I will see you tomorrow at the weigh-in. Um, and then I will see you on Saturday night when you challenge for the Commonwealth title against Thomas Somber. Lightning Lee McGregor, thanks very much for speaking to Boxing Social. Thanks, Rob. Cheers.